Hello, uh, I'm Bates Gill. I'm a senior fellow in Asian security at the National Bureau of Asian Research. And over the past couple of years, I've been working closely with USIP colleagues to consider China's growing role as a regional security actor around the world. We paid a visit to Central Asia to discuss these issues with government officials, with former government officials, NGO leaders, and academic experts. From that a visit, we came away with four key points. Uh, first, it's clear that China is expanding its role as a security actor in Central Asia, uh, largely for its own geostrategic considerations, its concerns about Afghanistan as potentially becoming a new source for instability in the region, uh, changing economic interests for China in the region, and interestingly, as a provider of security goods in Central Asia. Secondly, there was a diversity of opinion about whether these uh, new developments for China as a security actor in the region were a benefit or risk for Central Asia. Some saw China's uh, uh, increasing role as a security actor as helping regional integration uh, of Central Asia. Others, however, saw China's increasing um, uh, role as a security actor as being a catalyst for um, a backsliding on democracy and rule of law in the region. Thirdly, and interestingly, uh, many of our interlocutors noted that China's increased amount of resources, diplomatic and political resources, and the development of the Central Asia Five plus China mechanism, which held its first leaders summit in China in May 2023, as an indication of China's diminished interest in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and importantly, uh, an indication of China's increasing interest in engaging in the region through a mechanism that does not include Russia. And finally, and importantly, uh, we see from our discussions there that there is an increased interest in greater U.S. engagement in Central Asia. The experts we spoke to recognize that uh, Central Asia has fallen off of the priority list in many respects for the United States given other challenges around the globe, but that did not diminish their interest in seeing some greater engagement by the United States through trade, uh, through investment, uh, through uh, provision of, of, of innovative and, and technological uh, support, and importantly also um, to assist governments and societies in Central Asia to push back against increasing disinformation campaigns on the part of Russia and China in the region.